Let's see. Lead Firestorm. Okay. Shauna Baker. Okay, that looks cool. It's Tizzy Lol. Okay, no problem there. Everything's a living sin 15. Okay, wow. We're just starting out. We'll see how she works out there. Eric. Zoo. Alright, I think this is this is good. We can work with this. Alright, this someone just sets a ten thousand dollar bounty on me for no reason. That's just great. Well, this will be an extra challenge. Hello again everyone, it is your black knight. And I came out here actually playing and just doing a little bit of using this as a, a little bit of background to talk about the overall excitement. Some would even go so far as to say anxiety. About the new casino DLC. I mean, I'm here with everybody else. I'm grinding money here, trying to get my way up to at least 20 million. And, you know, I'm thinking, why? Why am I killing myself? I mean, I realize I'm just kind of going along with the generalized YouTube hype. You know, oh, you've got to grind your money out here. you got to make sure you have enough because it's probably going to be the most expensive DLC ever. But on the flip side, let's say I, I can't get the DLC right off, the, right off the bat. Why would I even worry about this? Okay, so if there's people in police cars going by, and they're thinking, now would be a good time to do the whole CEO ability ghost it. Bye-bye, birdie. But it's not like I can't continue to play the game. Not like the stuff's not going to go on sale at some point. I mean, that really might be the way to do this. I mean, if they've really overpriced this DLC, where if you need $20 million... And let's be fair here. Let's say you just wanted to buy it like a DLC upgrade here, you know? You, let's say you were just say, you know, let's say it was a payable DLC, where if you wanted the... the uh, Want well, to play the casino, you had to pay, you know, 50 bucks or something. Just like, you know, like an open season, an open season pass kind of thing. Or if you're just going to buy the DLC. How much would it cost if it's a $20 million DLC? Well, I mean, a $100 shark card gets you $8 million. So is there any, any kind of DLC for any video game that would be worth $500? I'm thinking not. I'm thinking, you know... I'm a pretty hardcore slash casual gamer. I do a lot of gaming. Casually, but in a casual style. But I mean, probably way too much to be considered a casual gamer. And I'm not plunking $500 down to do anything. So, even to drive shark card sales. <coughs> that's not going to... You know, they're making it ridiculously expensive. Is just silly. I mean, you know, grant you, Arena War. I, I just got, what, three vehicles on sale in an upcoming video. It's in the schedule. And that cost me seven million. So, I mean, Arena War is just ridiculous. It was ridiculously expensive. This is one of the worst ones because you gotta deal with the whole neighborhood comes out. Yeah, I'll get mad at you. Yeah, you there. The bad guys are shooting at you. This guy's trying to pull me out because he's just a local guy. Let's be that way. Um, yeah, that's one of the worst locations. Why would you, why would you drop weapons off in a neighborhood where every pe everybody, he's shooting the gun sideways, gangster style. There's one more guy here. There we go. Let's get the heck out of here. Got shot to bits in that one. Where's our snacks? Inventory, snacks. There we are, we're all snacked up. 
I mean, I think sales are going to, you know, if you look at, if it's, if it's 10 million to get your piece of the casino. Well, heck with that. Let's, you know, we need to, at some point, send a message to Rockstar. That, hey, look, you know, you can't keep making them more and more expensive. We're just not going to participate. Now, if you got it, if you got your 10 million and you want to do that, well, fine. But if you don't, don't, don't kill yourself like I'm doing presently, completely hypocritically here. Trying to make sure that, you know, you can partake in the partay. Hopefully they don't. I mean, I have another video where I said, hey, you know, here's how they could make money with a, you know, a free DLC. Oh, he just, he just, he just ran somebody else over for no reason whatsoever. Are they staying extra far away for some Oh, here we go. He takes a lot of bullets, though. Somebody stuck way off somewhere? You have to go get them? What's up with this? Still the gunner. Why was he doing anything? I thought I killed the gunner. Yeah, I am on the radar. That's going to be a problem at some point. With a, suddenly a bounty on my head, thanks, whoever that was. I have no time to wait for you guys to drift around and eventually come to the party. This mission can take so long, I might get another ghost here. But, I mean, the more I think about it, you know, eventually, I mean, it'll take a few more weeks, but they'll put this sucker on sale. It'll be, you can, you'll eventually get, I mean, it take months, but, I mean, eventually, you'll be able, if you, if you can't afford the DLC, it will go on sale at some point, you'll be able to partake in it, and that will probably be what it's actually worth. They seem to, you know, they seem to push these things at prices. Where at half off, it's reasonable. I don't know, maybe it's just they've taken on standard marketing practices, you know? It's no different if you go to the, the grocery store half the time. You're, looking, you're waiting for that sale on soup. You can do a dollar a can, then why are you? Why is it two sixty nine normal? You know what I mean? It's just a thing. But we should get a helicopter here soon. I'm on helicopter. Okay, that's... There we are, I knew it. Helicopter. This is for that wonderful sound of the engine failing. Yeah, where is everybody else? Come on, you're making me wait. I got a bounty on my head and you're making me sit here. Now, grant you, if I'm in the signal jammer, that kind of helps me for a while. It takes me off the map. So unless someone really knows these missions and figures, hmm, he's probably around here, I'll bet. Not gonna find me. A bag of dirt? Are you saying I'm a bag of dirt? One more. We need, what? We need one more turret truck, right? Who's driving the wrong way. Come on. No. Nah. Zigging and zagging. Please just come here so I can shoot you. Uh, here. I'll, I'll snack up. And then you can... While well, I'm snacking. Like, ah, he's drinking a soda. Fall back. 
fall down. I like to fall down. Yes, definitely fall down. There we go. Fall down and be run over. Three of five delivered. Yoo-hoo! Airborne. And, you know, for as much as YouTube is kind of driving the hype train, and I mean, it's not like Rockstar is paying everybody. They're genuinely hyped. They're all looking at, you know, this is like, this is going to be awesome. You have to get sure. Here's what the money you're going to need. Oh, we got a new DLC. They're, they're, they're cranking up the hype train, but you know what else? The nice thing is, is if this if this DLC is complete crap, they're gonna tell you it's complete crap. You don't have to worry about spending your money. If you just do a little bit, a little bit of research in your YouTubeness, you don't have to worry about it. They'll take care of you. I can imagine a worst case scenario. I'd like to tell you I'm extremely disappointed with this DLC. More disappointed than I expected to be. This DLC makes the Arena Wars DLC look like the greatest thing since the Doomsday Heist. It is garbage. It is... Utterly, do not spend a, a single GTA dollar on this DLC. First of all, you don't get to buy any part of the casino. There's no business associated with it. What you have to do is you have to spend $25 million dollars just to buy a crappy apartment on the other side of town from which you can plan a heist that requires 11 people and only nets you 100 grand per person. You get no garage space, and we've all been expecting some sort of garage space. They always give us garage spaces. We need spaces for our cars. But the only vehicle they've drip-fed so far is the Faggio Deluxe, which costs $75 million. Well, at least it doesn't have advanced handling flags. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is gold-plated bullshit. Hello, dear viewers. It is time for you to summon Charles, have him throw the Faggio Deluxe into the fire, and then have him throw himself into the fire and protest for this awful DLC. But first, make sure he gets you a perfectly chilled gin and tonic. And I know what you're asking. Is it fast? Is it special? Does it have some kind of weapon on it that will let us fight Oppressor Mark II's? No, I didn't say it was the Faggio Mark II. I said it was the Faggio Deluxe, which means all it is is a Faggio with a gold paint scheme. Anyone can get this vehicle if they have a, a rank of at least 100, and who doesn't have a rank of 100 nowadays? I to think of it. Are there any bikes with advanced handling flags? Now, if you've already immolated your butler, please remember that you should listen to all directions before proceeding. Come on, little Fadio. You're deluxe. Let's go. In that case, hire and then summon Jeffrey and have him throw himself into the fire as well. But first, have him bring you a perfectly chilled gin and tonic. Now, did you learn anything? Come on. Come on. Let's go. Here we go. We're never doing this again. We're never doing this again. Whose idea was this anyway? Hitman? Was it Hitman? Oh, Bayman. You know what I mean? You don't have to worry. It'll get taken care of in the long run. You'll know if it's something to avoid. At this point, is it really like we have to... Why is that airplane not coming down? I'm getting shot to bits here. I shot that airplane helicopter enough. It should have gone down. Come on. There we are. Hooray. And it's not like we lack for stuff to do in this game. And, you know, there's always going outside. I mean, there's... One more to go with a bounty on me. Outside a ghost. I don't know why someone put a bounty on me. That's just... Why would you do that to me? What's the cruelty?
Alrighty, let's see. Will it let me up on top? Come on. Let me up. Tappity. Very good. It works. Alright. Guns up. Shoot me directly above me. Took a few free shots on me there. How the heck? Alright, this has just got complicated. That's those few shots from, you know. Fine, then you gotta get you gotta get the rockets then. Where's the last guy? There you are. I'll lead him a little. Oh, that didn't go as planned. And maybe this won't go as planned. Oh, I mean, the, the mucky stuff here. Let's... Leave the area. It's a tricky one to leave the area from. I think I could pull a buzzard in. I'll just run. So I would recommend to you, you know, make sure that you subscribe to, you know, the, the, you know, kind of the pantheon of of YouTubers that are great research for GTA. If you're that concerned about GTA, if you're if you're watching this video, you're probably already watching them. You know, you got your, you know, the professional. You know, Bruffy1322 if you're into racing. GTA men, Sonny Evans. Pyrelm Gaming. Yeah, there's some, you know, the standard ones that will tell you what's going on and give you their solid and informed opinions as to what's worth it and what's not. Obviously I watch them because I can do really mediocre impressions of them. Looks like you sold out. To the right people too. Only the good wars being fought with those guns. Promise. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight waiting along with you for the Casino DLC. Have a great night. <laughs> 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 Hey, Rusty Jack. How do you feel about impersonating some major, uh, some major YouTubers for this video? That's got to be fun, right? You want to do that, right? You're all about playing, cosplaying other... Okay, fine. While you're on the payroll, that's you're going to do as I tell you. Give you access to millions of dollars, and this is the thanks I get. Rockstar, what is this gold-plated bullshit? Not the train again. Always a train. Get up here. Ha <laughs> ah, ha! It's a lark! <laughs>